So, um, back with another video. Um, it has been a few days now, uh, very busy days, testing out some gear, musical gear. Uh, been doing some test recordings with different type of guitars, different types of microphones, different different types of well, you know, different types of hardware. And uh, I can't really say that I'm very good at software because I never really gotten into, you know, recording software and that kind of stuff because someone else always done it for me whether I'm being in a studio uh, or you know a home studio you know whatever so I didn't really bother to understand the software and that kind of shit so for the past year or two I try I have been trying to getting into the software for making music and trust me it's not very easy so I can tell you very honestly that that I suck on on uh, this kind of software that's for sure so uh, even though I can I manage I can manage the software of course I can make recordings I know how to put the microphones in front of the cabinet you know all that kind of stuff I, I think I know pretty good it's just when it comes to the software and you know when it comes to EQ and all that kind of stuff there's a lot of things to to learn there I think so um, I will be trying to do my very best to uh, because you know to manage the, the software itself because once I decided to to record these songs uh, as professional as possible um, I, I think I want to get it right the first time so I can actually get the the quality on the audio the way uh, the best way possible uh, so that the the factory that is actually uh, going to make the the CDs, um, you know, LPs or you know whatever, uh, has a product uh, with a very good quality. So there is a lot of things to to learn here. Uh, I think I'm well. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and you know not doing this. Well, of course I'm gonna do this. But um, I think that I have some more things to learn. Uh, so uh, I recently discovered that uh, uh, cables is something that is very important because if you have a cable, a guitar cable like this, it, it doesn't really have to be a broken cable but if you have a very cheap cable, that is going to cause some major problems. And uh, so I've been downstairs, you know, downstairs looking for high quality cables so that I can put these cheap cables away. So in the whole studio here, in the whole studio, I now got high quality cables and uh, as you can hear in my latest video the the Shure SM57 metal test there is no background noise no nothing so I think I got it right with the cables now so that's something that's awesome I also um, I also have been uh, testing most of my guitars well, well not all my guitars that would take a week or two but uh, you know 
quite a few of my guitars and there is especially five to seven guitars that I think I'm going to use for these songs um, because the these guitars has something um, that fits uh, in different places in the songs actually so I'm actually going to use all my Gibsons that's on Gibson Explorer uh, with dirty finger pickups in there that's a um, uh, Gibson Les Paul standard with EMG 81 and EMG 85 and my uh, Gibson Les Paul custom with a 498T uh, in the bridge and a 49 uh, no 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 there's a 490T in the bridge and a 490S I think in the neck I'm not really sure there hmm, maybe I should do my homework because I'm not really sure but the, the sound is quite awesome and uh, also, uh, I'm going to use uh, two of my Fender guitars, uh, Fender Strats, uh, one with uh, EMG 85 and EMG 60, and uh, another one with a Seymour Duncan Blackout uh, pickup. Uh, there's only one pickup in that guitar, so I'm going to use that one. Um, I am also... Uh, also, I'm going to use um, uh, two of my Squire guitars because I actually had some. I, I have some custom-made pickups in both of my Squire strats, so the si sound is actually quite awesome in my opinion. So that's the guitars that I'm going to use for this, and uh, uh, I'm very excited about that because. I think, uh, well, if you're looking at the bigger bands, of course, they have a bunch of guitars in the studio to record with. And so does I. So that's kind of cool. Uh, of course, I can, you know, be happy with one or two guitars. You know, it. I, I could manage with one or two guitars. It's not about that. It's about, you know, making something unusual uh, trying to get different sounds, trying to, you know, um, trying to get what I'm looking for in these songs. So that's something that I will uh, actually go ahead and do. Um, and I've been also, as I said in a previous video, been trying some different amplifiers. And I think I'm only, I think I'm going to use uh, only two uh, amplifier heads for these songs that's a uh, Laney Ironheart uh, that's uh, a Laney Ironheart 120 watts and that's a Marshall DSL 100 and uh, uh, possibly I, I'd say possibly a Mesa Boogie uh, triple rectifier so uh, that's Possibly not sure about that yet because I didn't really like the sound out of that um, I didn't really something with that amplifier that I don't like so uh, So I'm not really sure about that yet But uh, let's go back to the software when it comes to the software You know, I'm using uh, First of all, I, I was going to use uh, Logic Pro X I think it is but uh, when looking at the new GarageBand, uh, I mean the new version of GarageBand that came not very long time ago, that is actually very awesome because it's pretty much, well it's not the same as Logic, uh, but uh, it's pretty much similar anyway, and they uh, put in a lot of new features in there. Uh, such as a super awesome EQ, uh, you know, compressor, you can adjust just anything you want to. And uh, so I, I really think that the new GarageBand is actually a very, very, very awesome software. And I've been talking to some people that know this kind of stuff. And they say that uh, it's absolutely for sure possible to make professional music in today's garage band that's for sure so that's what I'm using actually 
So I'm um, I'm trying to I will try to do my very best here. So uh, when it comes to the microphones, uh, I've been testing some different microphones, and the ones that I like the most that's the Shure the S uh, Shure SM57 for recording the guitars. And uh, you know that's not very strange because the SM57 is probably the most used uh, microphone. Uh, you know, all time, you know, recording guitars. So uh, I, I think that most studios actually using sure it's SM57. That's what I think. And, you know, I used to use sure SM57 way back in the days uh, when I was, uh, you know, recording music and that kind of stuff. But that's a very long time ago now. And I don't really have that stuff around anymore. So that's what I'm that's what I'm going to be using for these songs. And uh, I will as I said in a previous video, I will not post anything on this YouTube channel that has anything to do with the songs I'm about to record because this is going to be a release uh, on both uh, Spotify, um iTunes and also on CD and possibly something more, I'm not really sure. Uh, so there is no way I'm going to post anything um, of the new songs uh, before it's actually a release date or something like that. So, but I will continue posting, you know, some test recordings and, uh, you know, that kind of stuff because I'm not really set to go with the recordings yet. I'm st still in... Uh, there's still some stuff that I, I need to uh, do my homework about so but uh, I got about uh, let's see here I, I got about uh, six weeks I think th six weeks for, for a deadline uh, for recording in, in this studio here so uh, I, I actually I'm actually I have some I actually have some time to to uh, to explore the software here. So once I'm ready to record the songs, I think I will manage probably in a day or two. I'm not really sure, but let's say two days because it, it's only a, I th it's only going to be probably about four songs. So two songs uh, a day. Uh, that's that's absolutely possible when it comes to being in the studio. Uh, so when it comes to the mastering and all that kind of stuff, uh, I can do that elsewhere. I don't need to be in the studio here to do that. So that's absolutely terrific, I think. So yeah, anyway, uh, it's already a long video here. Uh, so... Uh, this is just a little update and check out my latest uh, video uh, Shure SM57 metal test. Uh, I managed to get the, the sound kind of awesome. The bad thing about uploading on, on YouTube uh, is actually that the quality isn't as good as it is on, on, my, on my computer. So I, I don't know why that is but it's it's just not and another thing is actually that I'm not very very super good at the software so I still have some things to go through when it comes to the you know the EQ and you know all that kind of stuff for post-production so to speak so I still have some more things to to look up on so that's kind of cool uh, anyway enough talking about the recordings now um, if you haven't uh, subscribed to my youtube channel i would be very happy if you just uh, uh, click the the button down below here i uh, think uh, there maybe uh, that says subscribe it's a red little button and you just click that one and uh, I will get notified that you subscribe to my channel. So I will go right ahead to your channel and I will subscribe to you. So I think that is kind of 
how it works here on, on uh, YouTube. Uh, pretty much uh, uh, you subscribe to me and I subscribe to you. So I think that's, that's cool, I think. So yeah, anyway, uh, I will be back with an update about this in a very close future, maybe tomorrow, or the next day, or the day after that, or the day after that, or next day, or next day, well, at any time. So, what I'm about to go ahead and do right now uh, is actually to turn off all the lights in the studio here and uh, close it up for today, because I've done enough for today. And uh, I need to turn off the amplifiers, I need to turn off everything because uh, electricity is very expensive. So anyway, until next time, take care now. Bye bye then.